So this is this is uh, our FlashForge Finder. It's a very good 3D printer because of the fact that it's very usable. It's good usability and it's easy to use. This this is printed on this machine. It's a wooden composite. It's made up of a percentage plastic and a percentage wood. Um, the, the machine can also print um, in a Samsung composite, uh, which it has a similar look and aesthetic feel to Sandstone. Uh, and you can then print like sculptures and then you can then sculpt, sculpt it to, to, uh, to get the human touch to it as well. You can print small 3D uh, architectural models. This machine actually printed this architectural model, which is an architectural model of three different parts. Um, as you can see, it actually has the furniture, fit, fitment, fittings and all of that in it as well, which is a, it's a good functionality in order to plan how your house would look like before you actually go through the whole construction process. When I refer to filament, actually, this is, this is basically the raw material that's being used in order to print, in order to print um, wood. So this is a different machine. Um, this machine actually has two heads, where the previous one that we just looked at just had one, one nozzle that actually um, extrudes the filament. Now, this one you can print dual colors, like the globe that I showed you previously, um, where you can then um, print different colors and then mix them um, simultaneously. There's a number of types of material, like I mentioned previously. What I'm holding here in my hand now currently is it's carbon fiber. So you can actually use this for drone parts where you can print 3D printed drones and you can then customize your drone how you'd like it. And there is other materials that you can also print with this. There's a copper filament that you can use, there's brass filament that you can use. There's um, some, some, some materials you can actually print with aluminium as well. So there is a lot of, a lot of different composites. There's about 127 different types of material on the market that you can actually print with. This is some more of our 3D printers. Um, this, this machine that we have here is a 3D printed hybrid and you can actually mix the colors inside so the software can uh, in the software you can say i want a colored mixture of say 60 percent to 40 percent of black versus red you can do the 3d printing with it you can do laser um, laser cutting with it you can do laser engraving with it it also has, has a um, it has a CNC head to it, as well as uh, it has chocolate printing capabilities. So here yeah, we have the Robopiece, which is a South African built printer. So, which is nice about this printer is the fact that with all the other printers that we have in store. This is the only machine that actually has a battery um, capability to it. So you can, even though there's a power surge or if the power goes out, you don't lose a print. Whereas with the others, once your power goes out, you will, you most likely will have to restart your print from scratch. So we, when you come to our store, um, we take the four all fam the whole family. Um, we have the teams in this side where people can actually do their doodles um, and play with our 3D pen. 
you can actually sit um, here and then you can use your put use your laptop and design design what you want to print and you can use any of our printers here in store to to print um, your model if you would like to do it that way um, we also cater for the young ones as you can see here um, we have a, a space for for the toddlers where they can actually play with 3d printed toys